Today we're going to be taking a look at the best base plates available for the 2006 Jeep Wrangler. Now these base plates are designed to work with your factory style channel bumper or the double tube style bumper. If you have an off-road bumper that has D-links on the front, you'll want to check our fit guide. We've got some options available for that that don't really involve the crossbars and the side plates for mounting. Now of the three we're going to be taking a look at, we've got two from Roadmaster. One is part number RM521424-5. This is going to be the EZ5 or the Direct Connect style, which is going to allow you to connect your tow bar directly to the removable arms on our base plate. The next one is going to be part number RM521424-4. Now this is the older EZ4 or their crossbar connect style. You can see your removable arms are going to have two holes here that you'll bolt a crossbar to and that's what you'll be connecting your tow bar to. Then from Blue Ox we have BX1120. This is going to be a direct connect style as well. You'll notice our tabs are going to be welded on and fixed, non-removable. Now the installation process on all of our base plates is going to be almost identical. They're going to use the same locations and attachment points. Something I also like about each of our base plates is that they have a section here that's going to allow us to attach our wiring to. You see both of our Roadmasters have it a little bit closer to the driver's side, where the Blue Ox puts it a little more squarely in the middle. Both our Roadmasters also have a tab that's been welded on for the attachment of our breakaway switch. The Blue Ox doesn't have it welded on to the actual base plate, but you do have a bracket provided to help you with attachment. Now the Roadmaster tow bars are both going to offer the removable arms. That's something that I think you'll like if appearance is important on the front of your vehicle. You've got a pull pin. You want to rotate. You can see that arm's going to come out. It's just kind of a keyway in there that holds it in place as well as our locking pin. Both the crossbar connect and the direct connect are going to have that same style. On the blue ox, as we talked about, we do have the direct connect, but this is designed pretty much specifically to work with the blue ox end of the tow bar. So you'll have the blue ox arm that'll slide right in there and you can pin right through it. I like the custom design much better than the universal designs that are available out there. These have been specifically designed, one, to bolt up to our Wrangler, but two, they're rated at a high enough capacity we won't have to worry about hauling our Wrangler safely. Now in choosing the right base plate for your application, you need to decide whether you're going to go with Direct Connect style, like we have with the Blue Ox here, or the Roadmaster, or whether you're going to do Crossbar style. Now if you have your choice, go with the Direct Connect style. You're going to eliminate a step in hooking up to your vehicle installing that crossbar can sometimes be a little tedious. Then you'd want to decide whether you want to do the removable arm style like we have from the Roadmaster or if you are okay or you like the looks of the tabs sticking out of the front on the Blue Ox. I don't mind the look that we get from them. I would just be slightly worried about maybe bumping into them with my leg if I were trying to work on the engine. Now to sum up what we've talked about, if you're looking for a Direct Connect style, you'll want to go with the Roadmaster Direct Connect or the Blue Ox. For the removable arm option, either one of our Roadmasters will be a fine decision. And if your tow bar is going to require the Crossbar Connect fitting, well then the Roadmaster Crossbar Connect style is going to be the right choice. And that's going to complete our look at the best base plates available for the Jeep Wrangler.